Hello friends and welcome back to the studio. Today I am starting a new painting. I recently found a spring cactus or an Easter cactus and since it's starting to bloom I wanted to go ahead and paint it. So I actually learned how to paint with oils by doing still lives and I did that for a couple semesters in college, but since then I really haven't done any still lifes. I usually just use photographs. So I wanted to challenge myself with this piece and do a still life. It still has a lot of work to do, but I went ahead and photographed it just so I could capture how it looked in the moment since the flowers are starting to bloom and as you can see here I misjudged the placement and just used some mineral spirits to wash it out. Now I don't want to get ahead of myself here but depending on how this piece turns out I think it would look really neat as another planty sticker so I'm looking to grow that sticker collection here this summer um, so this plant is on my list this cactus and I also would like to do a ZZ plant a monstera and probably a pothos but if there's any other plants that you would like to see as paintings and then potentially as stickers be sure to comment those down below so I can start working on those I am a bit rusty when it comes to painting from life with painting from photographs it's a little bit easier to start since you have like guidelines of where everything is. But when you're painting from life, you kind of have to figure out the placement of things on the canvas. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes you have to start over a few times. But overall, I enjoy painting still lifes. I think there's a little bit more of a creative freedom when it comes to painting still lifes. I think sometimes when we're working from photographs, we want it to be an exact replica of the photograph. But when you're painting from life, you don't have that pressure um, and you can experiment a little bit more and kind of push your colors without feeling like it's wrong. Does that make sense? Do you guys feel the same way? I've recently been listening to the Art Curious podcast and one of the episodes that I listened to was about how the Mona Lisa that's currently on display could potentially be a fake. So if you haven't listened to that episode, I highly re recommend that one. And also there's another one that was really interesting about Van Gogh potentially being murdered instead of committing suicide so that those theories were interesting to listen to as well so if you have listened to that podcast I would love to know your thoughts I feel like this voiceover is a little bit all over the place but I usually don't do voiceovers but I recently 
found the button in Adobe Premiere and it's super easy to do a voiceover so I'm, I think it will just help make the videos more interesting. So if there's any topics you guys would like me to talk about while watching me paint, just comment down below and let me know. But besides that, I'm just gonna ramble a little bit longer and close out the video. A little life update. My grandma recently got two kids. My brother just got a kitten, and then my mom just got a puppy. So if you're not following on following me on Instagram, be sure to go over there and check out my stories because I have been sharing photos of them over on my Instagram. The puppy is super cute. He's a all black German Shepherd. We are still waiting for his ears to perk up. So he kind of looks like a lab right now. But it's so funny to watch B play with him because he's only a couple months old. I want to say two months old. And he is almost the size of B. So it's not going to be much longer and he'll be bigger than her. But the only other puppy that she's been around would be my brother's dog. So she's still getting used to him, but doing pretty well. So back to this painting, I decided to go with a light pink background because I think it'll complement the green cactus really nicely and the blooms on the cactus are like a darker pink so i think it'll all just blend together nicely and i started to go ahead and color block in some of the colors but i ended up stopping here soon so i will show you the rest of the painting in the next vlog So I am going to end the vlog here. We're getting ready to celebrate my brother's birthday. Um, so I want to start editing this one before I head over there. Uh, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And be sure to subscribe to see my still life come together. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!